Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create pop-ups on any WordPress website using a free plugin. I'm going to create two different types of pop-ups in this video. The first pop-up will be an info bar which will be shown at the top of this page and the second pop-up will be a regular pop-up which will cover the entire screen of the website. Let me show you an example of the pop-up. Here I'm on the demo website. If I go to home page, I have set the pop-up to show after 5 seconds. The first pop-up will be shown after 5 seconds at the top. This is the first pop-up. And the second pop-up will be shown after 10 seconds when someone enters on the website. So this is the second pop-up that I have created. So you will see both the pop-ups here. This is the info bar at the top. You can customize it. If you want to show it at the bottom, you can show it at the bottom also. And this is the second pop-up that will be shown after 10 seconds. Both the pop-ups are fully customizable. You can change the color settings. You can change the style settings. If you want to show these pop-ups on particular pages, you can select the pages. If you want to exclude from some pages, you can do that also. So let's see how we can create the pop-ups on any WordPress website using a free plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and the plugin that I'm going to use to create pop-ups is Spectra. This is a free plugin and I have already published a video on how to install it and how to use the Spectra Page Builder plugin. This free plugin will add more than 30 blocks to your default WordPress editor. Here you will see the list of blocks that you can add to your default WordPress editor. These are some pro blocks that you can add using the pro plugin. I have created many videos on how to use these blocks. If you want to watch those videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. Now we are going to create the pop-up using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. So in the left panel, you will see the Spectra option. If you go to Spectra, you will see the pop-up builder. Click on pop-up builder. Right now, there are no pop-ups created. I'm going to create a new pop-up. So click on create pop-up. Now here you will see two types of pop-up. The first one is info bar and the second one is pop-up. So let's start with the info bar. We need to add some name. So I'm going to name it as action bar so this will be the name of the pop-up and i'm going to select info bar so this is the default layout of the info bar in the left hand side you will see the countdown timer then we have a title and then we have a small button call to action button so if you want to delete any of these blocks you can delete the blocks and you can add your own block uh, this is the countdown timer if you want to click on if you want to delete this one you can simply click on the countdown timer and from here you can delete the countdown timer just like this you can remove the countdown timer this is the heading if you want to remove it you can simply click on the heading and you can remove the heading if you want to change to paragraph you can change it to paragraph or to the code so this is the standard action bar with countdown timer the title and the button now if you want to customize button you, you can click on the button and here you will see the option content here you can put the link for the button. So I'm going to use the say HTTPS google.com. So if someone click on this button, it will go to google.com. Remove text, add no follow, open in new link. If you want to change the text, you can simply click on it and add your own text, read more. And here you can add. So this is the title that I have. You can central line it so whichever block you select you will see the settings for that block in the right hand side from here you can customize settings these are pretty basic settings you can change the color the font and everything from the right hand side if i go to this button i can go to style settings and i can change the background color of the button let's use this one from here you can change the text color Now, if I go to countdown timer, I can customize the countdown timer from here. You can change. I have a separate video on countdown timer, how to customize the countdown timer. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch that video. All right, so this one looks good. So now we have created the layout of the action bar. Now we need to set up some conditions to show this action bar on the website. So let's select the action bar. You can 
simply click on it so you need to select the entire pop-up and you will see the settings for the pop-up this is the info bar minimum height you can change the height of the info bar if i change it to let's say 80 this is how it will look so let's change it back to 60. where do you want to show this info bar to the top or to the bottom so as of now i'm going to keep it on top this is the close button when someone clicks on this close button it it will close the info bar so this is the icon if you want to change it you you can simply click on it and you can select your own icon here so i'm not going to change it and this is the position of the close button top right or top left so i'm going to keep it on top right so these are the basic settings if i go to general you will see the background color here so this is the background color of the entire top bar you can change it from here style if you want to add border you can add border and you can change the color settings for the border box shadow this is the box shadow just like this you can have the box shadow here and from here you can customize the settings for the shadow all right so this one looks good now let's go to the advanced tab and response to condition if you do not want to show this on the tablet you can simply select hide on tablet hide on mobile hide on desktop these are the responsive conditions let's see how does this look on the tablet so this is how it will look on the tablet and this is how it will look on the mobile devices so let's go back to general now we need to add some condition so here you will see the option spectra you can click on the spectra option and when you click on the spectra option you will see the pop-up builder settings when do you want to show this info bar let's say i want to show this after five seconds when someone logs on to the website so when someone comes to the website after five seconds it is going to show this info bar this is exit intent and how many times do you want to show i'm going to select let's see four times if someone switch to other page it will show the info bar again for four times so it is going to repeat this process four times now element display condition where do you want to show it you want to show it on entire website so this info bar will be shown on all the pages and post on your website if you want to exclude some of the pages or blog post you can add some specific conditions such as you do not want to show this on blog post so you can select all posts and it will not show on the blog post so i'm going to select entire website for now and click on return to post so we have added some conditions to show the info bar all right now let's click on publish so we are going to publish this info bar okay now let's go back to the dashboard of the website let's go to pages and i'm going to open one of the pages here this is a demo page after five seconds you will see the info bar now we have got the close button so we can close it from here all right so this is the first pop-up let's go back to the spectra and let's create another pop-up click on create pop-up this time we are going to select this option pop-up let's name it as pop-up test select this one and this is the default layout now click on it and you will see the basic settings the pop-up width pop-up maximum height use fixed height so if you want to change the pop-up settings you can change it from here first select the block inside the pop-up and we are going to customize the content of the pop-up so you can click on it and you will see default some preset layouts here so currently it is set to this one you can change the layout so i'm going to select this one here you will see icon if you want to change it you can change the icon or you can use image from here you can select image just like this i am not going to use image i will keep it on icon and from here you can select the icon let's use this icon after that you will see content now this is the title you can change the title tag h1 h2 h3 if you want to change it you can change it from here whatever content you want on the pop-up you can add it here you can change the content from here so this is the content i can change it 
All right, so we have got the title, description, and button. Now let's go to the next option that is separator. If you want to use separator, you can simply use the separator like this. Call to action, this is, these are the preset for the call to action. And you can add the link here. So I'm going to add the link of the website. Let's use this one. Whatever link you want, you can add the link here. If you want to open it in a new window, you can select this option. Let's go to style settings. And I'm going to select the entire pop-up bar and we are going to change the background color of the entire pop-up bar. Select the pop-up and right now, we will change the background color. So this will be the background color. This is the overlay color. You will see the overlay color just around the pop-up. You can change it like this. Now border, if you want to add border, you can add it. I'm not going to add any border. This is the close button. If you want to change the size of the icon, close button icon, you can change it from here. Box shadow and spacing. So I'm not going to make any changes here. Let's go to advanced responsive condition. If you do not want to show it on the tablet, you can hide it on the tablet, hide it on mobile. Let's go back to general. Let's see how does this look on the tablet. Uh, this is how it will look on the mobile device. If you have more content, you can adjust the height from here. Right now it is set to fixed height. You can change it to customized height. Now this is the alignment of the pop-up. You can change the alignment just like this. Top, bottom, right hand side, left hand side. Use overlay. Right now we are using overlay. You can disable that prevent background interactions when pop-up will be shown on the screen on the page it is not going to let the customer interact with the content in the background so you can leave it as it is enabled this is the close button let's select the content and we are going to change the color of the icon this is the icon color this is the title color so these are pretty basic settings. You, you can change the settings according to your requirement. This is the button. You can change the background color of the button. All right, so this one looks good to me. Now select the pop-up again, the entire pop-up. And let's go to the Spectra option here. And we are going to set up the pop-up condition. So I'm going to select it as after 10 seconds so that you can see both the pop-ups. So I have added the delay of 10 seconds display conditions if you go to display condition i want it on the entire website so i'm going to set it to entire website let's repeat it for five times if you have any custom css you can add the custom css here exit intent display condition entire website all right so let's publish it now let's go back to the website refresh the page After five seconds, you will see the info bar that we created. And after 10 seconds, you will see the second pop-up. Now, if I try to scroll, it is not going to let me scroll and it is not going to let me interact with the background content. I can click on it and it will disappear. To close this one, I can simply click on this one. So using the pop-up builder in the Spectra plugin, you can create two different types of pop-ups. You can customize the pop-up, you can add display conditions. So this is how you can create pop-ups in any WordPress website using the free Spectra page builder plugin. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.